Here is the BNK regulated power supply model 1601 and it needs a little TLC not much just a little WD-40 on some of the mechanical controls including that variable resistor that you see about in the center and it doesn't take long to do these wafer switches or this material shrinks over the years and can cause a problem and here I've got it all put back together and all the mechanics is working just fine and so is the electronics. One of the problems that this unit was having was I couldn't get it to switch from 0 to 50 to 0 to 25 and as you can see after putting a little WD-40 on that switch it works just fine. Now, of course I did that on all the manual controls I'll leave it on 25. Now Dave had a question about how can you set the current without a load? Well with one of these units you can set the current over here by pushing this button and I've got it on dot 5 so there's the 5 and it goes up to that would be dot two five current right there. I'll leave it on 25 volts and we'll charge this capacitor okay and you saw the current bump up just a little bit I'll discharge that we'll charge this again Okay, so at that current we have no problems charging the capacitor. Let's lower this quite a bit. I'm at dot O5 and let's bring this down to right here. That would be dot O1 current at 25 volts. So let's charge this again. And here you can see that we have set the current low enough that the overload light comes on and it turns off the voltage. So this is going to be very, very, very handy. And to reset the thing, all you have to do is push the button again. Okay, let me up this again. We'll leave it at one, but now it's dot one. And this probably should charge. Let's see if it does. Yeah, no problem. Discharge charge okay this is going to be a very handy power supply and you can leave it on standby now as none of the switches have any problems after a little WD-40 Thanks for watching.